In our last video, we travelled down to Devon to spend some time with family and we're still there. Here we are again, being taken out for a day and yet again, we are clueless. We don't know where we're going. Where have we been brought today? Uh, what is it? It's like rock. Valley of rocks. Valley of the rock. Valley of the rocks. Valley of rocks. Oh. Why is it called the Valley of Rocks? I don't know. Yeah, we're not sure. <laughs> yeah. Still trying to work it out. <laughs> but views are spectacular. Look at that, all the way round. Gorgeous. There's no surprise to why it's called the Valley of Rocks. It's a valley, and it's full of rocks. It's a valley that runs parallel with the sea and it's known for its rocky outcrops and its wild goats. So where to? Up the top? Uh, yeah, let's carry on. Yeah. <laughs> From this angle it might look like it was a dodgy climb, it actually wasn't, it was just like going up a wonky staircase. The views from the top were definitely worth the effort. After a brief time admiring the landscape, we headed back down, said hello to some goats, and then started walking along the coast path towards Linton. We were starting to feel a bit peckish, so it was time to head off into town and get some lunch. This route is part of the Southwest Coast Path, which runs for 630 miles around the southwest of England. Today we were just doing one kilometre of it. Linton and Lynmouth are said to be where Exmoor meets the sea. Linton is the town up on the cliff, Lynmouth the village on the coast. In 1952, the East and West Lynn rivers which meet here in Lynmouth burst their banks. Overnight, nine inches of rain fell into the already saturated ground. It caused a huge flood and 34 people died. This cross was erected in their memory.
There are two carriages, one at the top of the cliff and one at the bottom of the cliff. They're connected by cables. Under each carriage, there is a water tank full of water. When the carriages are ready to move, the carriage at the bottom of the cliff empties out the water gradually. That makes the carriage at the top of the cliff heavier. It gradually comes down the cliff, dragging the lower carriage up as it goes. If you're ever going to go on the cliff railway, take our advice. Don't get on it if there's a yapping dog in the carriage. It's a very confined space and that barking goes right through your head. After visiting Valley of Rocks, Linton and Lynmouth, having lunch and enjoying a green tea, it was time to go home. If you've seen our last video, you'll remember that our car had broken down on the way there. Now it was time to get the coach home. We boarded a coach in a local town towards Heathrow. Changed at Heathrow for a local coach. And five hours later, we were almost home. We'll soon be setting off on our round the world trip. If you want to keep up to date with what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell.